Hi Pisces, here's a general look at your solar chart for August 2009. Now it looks like there's an awful lot going on uh, in and around the home base for many of you uh, this month. It could be related to house hunting, it could be related to uh, where you're staying at the moment which isn't your normal home base. But it looks busy there uh, and it looks busy with members of your family, uh, or extended family or with within your community type connections within your tribal type connections uh, and uh, you're going to be uh, stretched with chores uh, with uh, you know t tasks practical tasks getting the act together uh, looking out for your best interests and maybe the best interests of others being very much you know putting putting yourself out maybe for others which is something that you do and uh, doing that uh, there could be demands you know very much you, you're in demand so you put yourself out there with work uh, and also routine type commitments maintenance type commitments uh, or maintenance type tasks really I should say uh, but also health matters and some of you um, uh, may be adopting a more sensible uh, exercise and diet uh, regime at the moment because remember a stitch in time saves nine so you should be making uh, space for yourself uh, to rest and relax because in this time here now um, others will be asking uh, for your um, energy. Others will be um, needing your attention and putting these demands on your time and energy. So the focus may be more on the people you work with uh, or the people who are putting those demands on you uh, or on whom you depend for certain contributions or services uh, and you are wondering if there's room for improvement here. <laughs> um, if, if that's the case, then how can these changes be made? What is the best way for you to communicate your needs or requirements to another on a formal or informal level? Um, so if that's members of the family, that's always a can of worms, isn't it? But also, um, if it's somebody in a, a kind of a business or professional work situation, or uh, wherever you're based at the moment, you know, somebody, um, those people around who are, you know, the so-called um, um, facilitators or helpers in that situation is getting across to them, you know, what it is you're actually after. Uh, and also finding out from them what they're actually after as well in other types of situations. So asking yourself, how can I be more efficient? How can I be more effective? Uh, maybe you're looking, uh, in fact, uh, you know, uh, adding another um, tool to your skill set. Maybe you're involved in doing that right now um, as we speak. Uh, and, uh, you know, wanting to upgrade uh, an ability that you have already or considering something completely new, uh, maybe you realize you need to make better uh, lifestyle choices in general. Uh, maybe you need to establish better healthier habits to enhance your life uh, uh, and not only your life but the lives of the nearest and dearest because the shinier and brighter you shine or you are, uh, the more it will uplift and enhance and uh, lift the vibration of those around you. That's the way it works. Uh, indirectly, of course. And so, uh, you know, the more you, the more you look after yourself, the more you can bring in the dream because the vision. Uh, because actually, basically, Pisces, that's what it boils down to for you. You're the visionary of the zodiac. You're the one who can lullaby a dream into existence. Um, we all can. All the signs of the zodiac can do this, but you are, you know, the so-called past master of this. But sometimes you just get stuck in, in kind of, and lost in the dream, uh, and it doesn't go any further. So what it boils down to is to ground the dream. Uh, into this narrow reality that we live in and uh, your visions express them in real time and make them work 
and for that you have to handle the devil in the detail. Uh, dot the I's, cross the T's, be consistent within the narrow parameters of whatever it is you've got around you at the moment. One-to-one -one relationships are going to be very important in August. Uh, and uh, working relationships, yes, but also fun uh, relationships, uh, relationships with children, animals. Uh, this is where the joy is. Uh, this is where the release is and uh, as and also romantic partners I mustn't miss miss that because that's very much on the cards for you in August if if you're in the market for that kind of thing and as relationships uh, at HQ can leave little time for quiet reflection and can maybe your feelings um, are quite turbulent uh, in fact you know you're kind of going up and down like a yo-yo um, uh, on that level uh, maybe there's something going on maybe it's related to the past maybe it's related to a past occurrence maybe there's a kind of a, a tension and a conflict in a, in a personal private area of your life or in fact within you so um, you might need somewhere to escape to Pisces <laughs> And also um, somebody to escape to, <laughs> somebody whose um, opinion, whose gentle, impartial feedback uh, uh, you respect and it's just what you need right now. So uh, clarity from someone who's, who, who you trust uh, and who's maybe outside of the situation, that's always the, 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 you know, the favourite. Uh, somebody who's got this Im impartiality with them uh, and who isn't biased but who has your best interest at heart and that's a rare and special and precious friend. Some of you will be consulting an expert uh, at this time for their advice, uh, whatever you know their particular field of expertise is, expertise is um, on some matter um, or counselling, you know, good counsel, guidance. Others of you may be negotiating and seeking a compromise, um, you know, trying to kind of strike a deal um, and, and get a kind of a solution to something. You may find it a little bit heavier going around the 17th to the 19th, paperwork there uh, or a strong mental focus needed then. Just stand your ground, Pisces, during that uh, period there. Be patient, be persevering. Uh, put your best foot forwards between the 14th, uh, well, around the 14th and the 16th, maybe a day either, either side, but in there, uh, as you can succeed very well then. Reach out uh, and um, um, reach out with your intention, with your prayer into the universe, and the universe could uh, respond in your favor at that time. You could be reaching a significant point related to your domestic setup and your work uh, commitments, your a professional sort of area, and you might feel as though you're <coughs> sort of pulled in two different directions. Some of you um, <coughs> will be um, busier than usual um, at home or connected to the home base uh, where you live in here but also where you live in your surroundings and in your community and this is also related to property and some tensions could enter in there so take yourself off for a walk to let off steam. Also things could be a bit edgy um, around the 20th to the 22nd um, you know nerves can get frayed there or something's kind of hanging in the air again look after yourself Pisces um, rescue remedy is always a good idea uh, that's a bark our remedy. The icing on the cake for you this month, uh, Pisces, is Venus in a very romantic and playful area of your chart. This as aspect will lighten the load considerably across the board. Uh, love, romance, uh, um, creative projects, leather, leisure pursuits, any of these uh, why not have them all, in fact, um, will uplift you and give you back your, your sparkle. Not that you've lost it, but it's definitely going to give you some extra sparkle. Well, that's it for August. If you know your rising sign, have a listen to that too.